are three in one and one in three. We are body, mind, and spirit. We can harmonize these three aspects of our being by increasing our awareness of how and why they are connected. Mastering and harmonizing our body, mind, and spirit is the key to achieving total well-being. You will lighten up by purifying your body, liberating your mind, and igniting your creative spirit. As you master and harmonize your body, mind, and spirit, you will unleash your highest potential in every aspect of your life. You will start living your best life as your highest self. Are you ready to lighten up? Starring your host and narrator, Suzanne Ross, TV personality and producer, inspirational author of Wake Up and Motivational Rise Up Speaker. It's time to lighten up. Hello and welcome to Lighten Up. I am your host, Suzanne Ross, and I am so delighted to be here today with Marco Misinato. He is coming to us from Crete, which is remarkable, and I would love to come to Crete someday, Marco. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank you, Suzanne. Lovely to be with you and your wonderful audience, and looking forward to, to share whatever we need to share. Marco is an inspirational composer of beautiful music, and he is also a photographer, and now he has an upcoming blog called Walking the Path that offers beautiful music, images, and words to inspire, enlighten, and empower you. I love how you start out your blog, Marco, with saying this blog is for the new humanity and the new earth. Can you tell us more about what has inspired you to create such inspirational music during your lifetime and offering such words of inspiration and empowerment? Yeah, well, uh, all the inspiration in my experience come from joy. It's just a, a core, deep, profound sense of joy that inspires me to take action to whatever direction uh, is needed. Uh, and when you operate in that way, uh, it's wonderful because uh, your, uh, your doing is very supportive for Earth and from humanity. So the blog in the same fashion started exactly like that. It started like uh, the joy of feeling that I want to say something, you know? <laughs> and so I just positioned my camera in front of me and I started to uh, address certain topics that um, I felt I want to talk about it. And I didn't have any specific agenda. Uh, it was a pure, innocent, uh, joyful uh, way to express myself. And then when I started to listen back to the content, I felt that uh, it could be uh, very valuable for resonating people, for people that are in resonance with this kind of information and the way how I perceive things. Uh, and so I started to uh, deepen my action into it and now it's becoming uh, a blog, an offering in the term of music, of photography, and, uh, and uh, video blogs and blogs. And, and still it hasn't, I don't even know what is going to happen next. It's just, I'm just having fun, basically. You know? It's unfolding. <laughs> it's unfolding. Exactly. Like yeah. else. <laughs> I love your acronym, Journey of Imagination, which is J-O-I, Joy. And yeah. I can see from the things that you've posted on that site that you are having this incredibly joyful experience of life and through your camera lens and your music and your words, you just want to share it with others to inspire them. Yes, yes. It's, uh, it, that's, what, uh, that's the core of existence, to come here in this uh, physical experience uh, and take action out of your joy and your imagination. And as you do that, then of course uh, uh, you want to share it because you love to share, you know, because you want other people to feel what you just felt in the orgasmic process of creativity. So you say, oh my God, that feels so good. I want everybody to feel like that. And so you start to expose your material. Yes, that's how it works. That resonates with me so profoundly. A few years ago, 
I started to have this, you know, incredible spiritual awakening and I would go on nature walks and feel as if I was actually shifting into a higher dimensional experience of reality and, you know, these uh, revelations would come to me about the true nature of reality and it was so incredibly, like you said, orgasmic and joyful and profound that I just wanted to share it with everyone. I wanted everyone to have this experience of joy and revelation that I was having. Yeah, and that, that's the, 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 the kind of purity, innocence that is required at this time of our intense transformational period of what humanity is passing through right now and our Mother Earth is passing through. We need to, to get into that innocence that we have lost uh, thousands of years ago uh, or we have also lost uh, during our childhood. And, uh, and now we have to find it back if we wish to continue successfully this journey because we need to basically stop tapping into our female energy, which is more intuition, is more imaginative, is more, um, is more like a creative. Uh, uh, and so that's what is required right now for all of us. Can you speak to that a little bit more, Marco? I'm so fascinated by that concept that, yeah. you know, that we're elevating into this higher vibrational dimension of reality. Can you give us your perspective well, on that? Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, in my perception, uh, we are, uh, we are uh, definitely uh, passing through a, a quite an intense uh, transformational period which will last for quite a long time because we have to process uh, layers and layers of thousands of um, separative uh, uh, deceptions. Uh, and all these deceptions, all these lies that we have been embracing and from which we have created this artificially created uh, reality where this bubble where we are living are now coming to surface uh, so that we can process them and let them go and so uh, uh, diminish the, 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 the feeling of separation. And this is an act that we is in co-creation with Mother Earth. Uh, Mother Earth right now is rising in the, the frequencies in order to correct um, some uh, mistakes that uh, have been done uh, during the creation of this uh, uh, universe, uh, physical, uh, 3D experience, uh, it wasn't supposed to be so painful and so harsh and uh, to, uh, to have a, a physical experience. Uh, the suffering got really out of hand. And so now we, uh, we need to correct that and reestablish a balance and reestablish a, a more uh, and less, a less dramatic and less suffering uh, experience. And that's why people like you, people like me, and people, many of the, the latest incarna incarnations, uh, soul, uh, have uh, heard the call of Mother Earth, and now we are co-creating in order to make things happen, so that all this matrix, many call it matrix, can collapse. And with this collapse, of co uh, there, there's going to be a lot of fear, because most of the people at this point, they're still... Uh, unconscious and they're com completely uh, identify with what the system tells us is the truth and so now that the truth is collapsing they will need support in order to find the true self within themselves and it's going to be a lot of fear that needs to be processed a lot of anger that is going to be uh, needs to be processed a lot of uh, emotional uh, blockages that needs to come out and so people that uh, like us, which are not necessarily better, we are, we are just uh, a little bit more aware, uh, we'll be able to uh, help in this of support. Beautifully said, Marco. Yes, I do believe that there are, you know, a percentage of people on this planet who have simply been called to come during this time to facilitate yeah. the transition by supporting yeah. humanity with, yeah. you know, books and music and like you're doing, combining yeah. images and music and words and giving people a destination place where they can go 
to find that inspiration and enlightenment that they need to come through the transition more smoothly. Yeah, and the, it's really easy to do that. You just uh, tune in with your own unique uh, gifts and you take responsibility for, for them. You bring them to surface and you act up, uh, through them. Because everybody, no exception, have special gifts. Everybody are extraordinary. There is no such thing as ordinary person. There are people that momentarily are living an ordinary life because they are uh, in a forgetfulness state. So they are still uh, uh, working on remembering who they are. And so for now, they are playing small. But uh, it's, it's a very important experience that needs to be allowed. Uh, so that we can start to tune in with our uh, God and goddesses that are within ourselves and we can start to exercise that. Yes, it really feels like a period of preparation, you know, for this new higher experience of reality. And all of us are collectively engaged in this process of preparing. Yes. Some of us are just at different levels. And so it's just beautiful to know that within each and every one of us is that divine pure essence of being. It's just a matter of, you know, what level we're at and how our experience is elevating, you know, maybe just in a different time period. But um, it's so beautiful that people like yourself are creating, you know, the music um, and the images and such to support all of that. And so, you know, bless you for doing that. Um, I just love the blog that you're creating, Marco. I mean, I've been reading, you know, some of the things that you'll be talking about in it, and it was just so incredibly beautiful, and it really touched the core of my being. Can you share with our audience some of what you'll be sharing in your blog? Yes. It seems like this uh, blog is uh, creating a, a map uh, of uh, information that... Uh, uh, are going to be valuable for certain certain individuals. Uh, most likely it's going to be a good blog for those people that are in the process of waking up. Uh, maybe people that are lost and they cannot uh, figure out things. They, they sense that uh, the old paradigm is, is, is not um, livable anymore, but the new paradigm is not quite there. And so they are like in this between phase and so maybe some of the information that I'm going to share, that I'm sharing this uh, blog, might be valuable for this kind of people. And also for people that are also more awakened, that are looking for a new uh, way to see things, or they're actually looking for maybe co-creating or looking for somebody to commune at that level. Because when you are a little bit higher, it gets lonely sometimes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's around. The family is unconscious. The, the, the husband or the wife is unconscious, and then you are there. You feel something, but you don't know what to do, what to share with, and so you are scanning through the net and or whatever, looking for uh, a situation that really are in, in your frequencies. Yes, so thank you for providing a, a place, a destination place for people who are awakening and people who are already awakened because we really do need that community support. Yes, of course, but they, I'm not obviously I'm not the, the one. There's, thank God there are hundreds, maybe thousands of situations like that that are coming uh, to surface right now. I'm just one of them and, uh, uh, and it doesn't matter because there's no such a thing as competition. It's just contribution yes. and co-creativity uh, so we need to let go of this apprehension of, uh, uh, you know, all these uh, messages that comes to us that, again, are based on the idea of scarcity. So because there is little, I have to be competitive. There is, there is no such thing as littleness. Everything is uh, abundant, uh, infinitely abundant. Uh, so right now, what is really matter is to ask the biggest question to ourselves. What is really relevant? to my life, what is relevant to my fellow human beings, what is relevant to, uh, relevant to life, um, uh, what gives me joy, how can I, what is the product of my choices supportive for life? These are the questions that we 
rarely ask ourselves because we are so caught up in the survival uh, mechanism, yeah. which is an illusion because there is not, nothing you have to survive from. Unless you believe so, then you create so. And so we have to shift out from that and start to take a higher level of responsibility and be uh, in a higher level of integrity with our heart, with our core, with our solar plexus, where the truth is. Because we, uh, we really do not need, we everything, everything is inside ourselves. There is a universe within ourselves. We have, our core knows everything. It has everything. We just have to trigger the, the, the process of remembering uh, who we are. So whatever externalization comes to us is just a trigger, it's just a mirror from which we can see better what we are and what we are not. But we already, we already are what we, what we are seeking. We just have to find it within ourselves. And the best way to do that, I would imagine, is to do what we can to raise our own frequency. And that goes back to listening to the beautiful music that you know you're presenting and really enjoying and appreciating the beautiful images from nature taking walks out in nature absolutely I love the cover of your blog walking the path right because it's really spending that time out in nature and appreciating you know the other living beings and things on the planet and connecting with them to feel that oneness and your yeah. sounds of oneness is so beautiful. I, I clicked on that and downloaded it and it was just beautiful. So yeah, really I think the goal is to discover that or remember, you know, the divine essence of our own being and, yeah. you know, focusing on raising our own vibrational frequency really um, yes. so that we can yeah. participate in this higher experience of reality. Yes. And, and music can be, um, in my opinion, is one of the most powerful tools to facilitate that. Uh, because when music is created from uh, a non-egoistical uh, 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 energy offer, so when it's pure, it's conceived from your source, um, it has the essence of life and it has the ability to uh, facilitate the unblockage of emotional stuff we have uh, in our uh, muscle that at this time needs to be released. And that is why I am uh, uh, creating and producing uh, uh, a series of live concerts with uh, uh, the intent to create a, a, an experience that allow people to let go of the stuck emotions. Because that's the first thing that needs to be taking place. We need to, uh, in order to establish a pure connection with our heart, we need to get rid of all these emotions that are within ourselves, whether it's sadness or anger or fear, those uh, low frequencies, emotions that have been uh, uh, collected through many, many years, sometimes many, many lifetimes, uh, now needs to be released. Uh, they have been uh, uh, s uh, doing their purpose, uh, they serve uh, a good cause, but now it's time to let them go so that we can feel and connect with uh, our heart and then from there we can continue in a more organic way in communion with Mother Earth. And it's so beautiful to think that, you know, it can be as simple and enjoyable as that, sitting and yeah. listening to this music and just really letting it resonate within your being and knowing that that within itself can raise your frequency and simply those lower frequency emotions will just dissolve. You know, rather than thinking of this complicated process of dealing with each of the issues that are causing these emotions. No, it's, not necessary. <laughs> it's not necessary because uh, you, you transcend all that uh, therapeutic uh, long work of uh, whatever you call it, healing. Uh, but it, because music, is, we all come from music. We, we all come from sound. It, entire existence is a huge uh, symphonic orchestra that is playing uh, and we uh, um, because we've been so dissociated and so let's say manipulated uh, we are like out of out of tune with the orchestra so we need to tune back our instrument in order to join the orchestra of life 
And music can do that instantly because mu music will immediately bring to surface whatever is out of tune, you will hear it and then you will let it go and, and, and it can uh, be done instantly if you allow it, of course, because you have to allow it first. I, I love that feeling like you're just a little bit of out of tune, <laughs> so you just need to be yeah. tuned up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and you can do that by listening to symphonic music that really does resonate with that pure yes. essence that the, uni you know, the universal sound, tune into the universal sound, which is, you know, in perfect harmony with creation. Absolutely. Exactly. It's really simple. Yes, and can you expand a little bit on that concept of, of sound being such an important part of creation, essential part of who we are? All the ancient uh, sacred book talk about the fact that first was the sound. The sound is the first crystallization of, uh, of, um, of uh, matter. Uh, and then from there comes every, everything else. Uh, and so we are uh, tapping into this information more and more and I suspect that within the next uh, five to ten years we will know much much more about these topics but right now it's still uh, processing, it's still like uh, more like a fantasy more than uh, reality but it's, it's getting there. Uh, scientists are realizing more and more the, the power, the incredible power of sounds and I anticipate that soon we will have concert for healing um, concept for healing all kinds of diseases, for example. Uh, not in a far and a distant future, I believe that's uh, it's going to happen. In fact, it is part of my uh, plan to eventually get to that point. For now, what is most important is to use music as a way to release the emotions, because that's the first step. That is the first step, isn't it? It's emotions and the mental blockages and those limitations which really lead to the physical conditions that many people are experiencing so i think that's a perfect first step is let's you know heal those emotions with higher vibrational sound healing and you know then automatically i think those physical conditions that are limiting us will dissipate yes and marco you mentioned that you're going to be doing a series of live concerts can you tell us more about that Yes, I just uh, produced uh, a, a presentation of uh, uh, Sounds of Oneness. Uh, Sounds of Oneness is uh, a two-hour live concert of uh, original music that I have created through the last 40-some uh, uh, years of my life. And now is mature and ready to be uh, uh, produced in a shape of, uh, uh, of live concerts. And in this presentation, I talk about uh, the rules of music at this awakening time and why music is important and what music can do and, uh, and why music is most importantly uh, is most important and empowering when it's listened live from live musicians and then from there I go into the, the, the way to produce the music uh, and so I, of course I'm uh, 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 attempting to raise some uh, funds for the production because it's quite a, 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 a journey because it, it, it involves quite an elite of musicians and uh, and uh, an orchestra and uh, rehearsals and then uh, a lot of staging where lighting has to be uh, coordinated, sound has to be so it's it's quite a wonderful adventure and uh, I've been. Uh, visualizing and, uh, uh, and feeling this vision since I was a little child, since I was uh, three or four years old, I already knew uh, that uh, this is what I had to do. Uh, of course, at the time I could not express the whole uh, uh, details like I can do now, but already there I knew that that was the direction and the purpose of my life. And so now we are getting uh, uh, closer and closer to the time where this uh, concert will uh, place, uh, take place and we hope to be able to do a tour everywhere in the world mm -hmm. uh, and eventually uh, be supportive as much as possible with the power of music. It sounds so incredibly amazing to gather a group of musicians who are also you know resonating with that higher purpose of bringing 
you know, music to humanity during this time of transition. And I love the idea of traveling around the world to be able to offer that. And I wish you the very best with that. It sounds like you're engaging in raising funds for that. Is there any way that our audience could participate in that? Oh, absolutely. We are really open to, uh, to any kind of support. Uh, it can be monetary support, but it can be also support in many other shape and form. Uh, just holding the space for it or, or maybe being a musician who wants to play the violin or wants to play the guitar or the drums uh, at, the, at the event or maybe uh, somebody that is good on marketing, uh, maybe someone that is good on finding investors that um, could uh, jump on board. So, and they all can do, uh, communicate with the, well, I would say first, uh, uh, listen to the presentation and see if it really touches your heart and listen to the music and see if you feel a resonance. Because if you don't, there is no point for us to, uh, to go further. But if you uh, spend those 10, 15 minutes in, uh, by listening to the presentation or listening to the music and you feel a strong resonance and you want to be part of this, then you can contact us. Uh, I have an email, of course, it's info at journeyofimagination.com and uh, people can write us and, uh, and share whatever insights they have, whatever, in whatever way they want to support or, or even just say thank you or just acknowledge us. Um, we, are, we are open to, uh, to um, communicate and to co-create because now it's a time of co-creation. Uh, it's no more a time where you are separate and, uh, and um, divided is it now it's time of integration where resonating people start to co-create together so that things can crystallize really in a most empowering way and anybody who goes to your website journeyofimagination.com will truly enjoy that experience in itself and marco has been so generous to offer many things you can click on to appreciate and enjoy so I encourage everybody to go to that website. His upcoming blog will be released in a couple of weeks and maybe by the time this airs it will already be out. And that in itself offers such inspiration and enlightenment. Bless you so much, Marco. I can truly tell what a beautiful soul you are. You're so beautifully expressed and everything that you say really comes from your heart. I can tell you have such a sincere desire to support humanity right now. Thanks. And you've dedicated your life to it. Yes, of course. Uh, and uh, you are doing the same with what you are doing right now, right? <laughs> Thank you so, so much for you. that. <laughs> Thank you, Suzanne. Thank you for following your intuition and being open to, uh, to say yes to this uh, sharing. And uh, I hope you and uh, all your audience uh, got something from it. And uh, hopefully uh, things will... Uh, it will prove to be very supportive what we just shared. Oh, absolutely. It's truly been my pleasure. And I also want to reach out and thank the audience for joining us. And remember, live well and love life. Thank you.